Hi everybody, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs. Hope everybody's doing well this Sunday. Um, we are here to do our Stash Buster Sundays. And um, I have just basically a way to be using up those paper pads that we bought that we aren't using. Um, I have a lot that I have no idea really why I bought them. Um, let me show you this one. Um, I bought this. I bet it was at Tuesday morning because I thought, oh, you know, I'll certainly use it. And, I, you know, there's probably some pieces in here that are things that I would use, but I probably wouldn't use that. I'm just going to pull out ones I don't think I would use. And that's kind of the idea. You're looking for um, uh, just paper that is white on one side um, and then... It doesn't matter what's on the other side. I mean, that's kind of the point is that you want to use up ones that you know that you probably would not use. Okay, no, I wouldn't use that. Um, likely would not use that. You know, I might, but I haven't. So let's just say that... Um, and I certainly could throw it away, but... Um, you know, I don't know. Let me move that out. Um, I'm just doing the definitely I'm not going to use ones, okay? I, I just feel like there's just so many that um, there's just really no chance I'm going to use, okay? No chance whatsoever. Um, yeah, like that one. There's actually a lot in here that I would not use. Okay, so... Um, see some of these though I actually would use when I like we did last week and we did all of our die cuts um, and I would probably use those as backgrounds uh, but a lot of these um, I don't know that would work as well so I'm just going to pull them out that could possibly work anyway I'm going to pull these out I doubt I will use them all but I'll know next time when I get this paper pad out and I'm trying to use it up I have a whole section of paper pads and I have it all in one area where I know that I haven't been using these I probably won't use these and um, I just kind of keep them there but so we're going to go ahead and use those and it does not have to be a card weight this is this is still pretty flimsy um, uh, so it's kind of a papery weight but that's okay it'll work, it'll work great for this and we're gonna we're gonna use that um, we're gonna use them just like this so I'm just going to get out my, I have my gloves on because we're going to get messy. Uh, I'm just going to cut a few of these. They have the branding strip on it, so I'm going to take that off. And, and I am just going to cut this into some pieces that I think that we can use. I'm just going to do this um, six inches. Okay, and then I'm going to do it probably by, um, I'm going to do it by, well, maybe I'll do it by six inches. I'll do it by six by six. Okay, and, well, I don't know. Yeah, we'll just do them six by six. So we're just going to do some squares. That'll work the easiest for what we're going to do. Um... And honestly, um, you can do as many of these as you want to do. I would cut up quite a few um, just because, you know, we'll use them. And if you don't use them this time, you'll use them the next time. So we're just going to make it easy and just do six by six. They don't have to be that size. Um, I'm doing them this size just because um, they're easy to handle. So that's it. That's it. really the only reason. I can do some. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a few more that are little different sizes, so you can see how it works. Um, I mean, even in any paper pad you buy, just about you're gonna end up with um, stuff you don't uh, like. Now, the thing is on this, like, okay, so last week we used these pieces, and they are on both sides. 
Um, it didn't matter that they were on both sides last week, but the point is, is that you probably don't want to do that on these because um, on these, you really need to use the white side for what we're going to do. Uh, all right, let's do, I'm going to do this one eight. And then I'm going to do it by six. Okay, so these are going to be a little bit bigger. All right, and then we'll have a few small pieces here. And I'll do that. Um, six, okay. And I think I'll do just a couple more so you can see. But anyway, we're going to just um, be making backgrounds for our journals. Um, and I will be making colorful ones this time, but you can do this and we'll do maybe do a few that are not, but it's kind of hard to switch gears doing this, so it might be a little hard. Oh, I did that wrong. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, I'll use that piece like that and like that. And then we'll use this piece. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that. I'm going to leave this one a little bit bigger. I have a bunch of different pieces. It doesn't matter the size that you cut them. You just want to make sure that they will fit on your... Um, uh, I'm using a gel plate. And I did have a um, um, somebody ask me about a gel plate. And um, I sent them a link. So hopefully they can um, look into it. But I, I will tell you they're fun to use. I'm definitely not a expert at all. Um, this is the one I have. I, I just like this size because I can handle it easily. And what size is it? does it say? This is 8 inch by 10 inch. And I also have a smaller one. Um, this is a fun one too. This is a five by seven and that one's usually, you know, it's a good size if you're for tags and things like that. So I'm going to take both of these out. Uh, I always just leave them in here. I don't even really clean them. I just leave them the way that they, and you'll see why it doesn't really pay to clean them because it actually works better if you don't. So I'm going to keep that there and get my other one out. And there are certainly a lot of people out there better than I am using a gel plate, but I, I love doing it. It's fun. And for the way, for what we're going to do with them, it doesn't matter that you're, you're great at it. It's not a, not going to make any difference. Um, the other thing that I like doing on my gel plate is I have, I was going to throw these away. I ha actually had these when I had, um, cleaned out my craft room, um, one time and they were sitting in a bin to, to uh, I guess to donate or whatever and I realized that these were absolutely perfect anything with a big impression stamp like this is great to use on a gel plate um, I've got letters numbers um, I've got um, and I don't use them individually you'll see why and just some other big impressions and that's always fun to use their bubble wrap all kinds of stuff but we're going to just use a little bit of stuff um, I also have a just a uh, piece of a vinyl placemat and so um, we're going to do that but right now what I'm going to use on my gel plate is I have I bought these I haven't used them yet uh, these pearlescent acrylic paints and I also have these other ones and I have used these before um, and these are pearlescent too so they're very shimmery and I'm doing my boho journals and I kind of want stuff like that in the background uh, but I will also show you kind of how to do this monotone so it turns out really cool um, But I'm gonna put my paint over here close by So that I can grab it and I need to open up that other one So I hope everybody's doing good today um, It is Super Bowl Sunday and um, I am going to after this uh, go downstairs and watch the uh, Super Bowl with my son and my my uh, husband I don't really have care who went I don't really care 
Um, but, you know, it's, it's a fun thing to do. And they're making all kinds of wings and stuff like that. We usually uh, go to a party or something. And this year we chose not to. We're just kind of hanging loose with my son. Okay. So, um, this is not hard. Um, you have your gel plate. I have two of them here. You can use a brayer to put the paint on. I like to do that. Um, the reason I have the second one is this is kind of like my wipe off when I put too much. I don't know what that is. Um, so I'm going to use that. I do that sometimes and then, and I like having two brayers when I do this. Um, I don't really have any set um, way. Let me think. The thing to realize when you're using a gel plate that um, the first color that you put on is the color in front that you'll see and then from there on in. And so let's just say... Um, I am going to try, I kind of want a light color. I am going to try this um, very light gold here. This is, I don't know what kind of gold it is, but it's gold. Oh, it's not opened up because I probably never used this one. Never used it. All right, probably going to have that situation with a lot of these. Um, I just take a little squirt it on here and I am just gonna go and I don't want it like even all over I want it to be very um, mixed mixed so I'll put a little over there all right and a little bit there Let's try. Do we want purple? Purple would be cool. A little purple and orange. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. These are more expensive and I'm not sure whether, <laughs> I usually just use cheap paint, but this is a little bit more expensive. So we'll see. We shall see. I'm gonna take that and just kind of move it around a little and I'm not doing any stamping or anything I'm just kind of making this a nice and easy little and I'm not trying to mix the color too much because I really want the different colors to show up um, you definitely can do that and I think I'm gonna try purple I think purple would be fun wipe that off a little bit a couple of dots and the big thing that I've learned doing this is just um, it's better to start out with not too much because it's really easy to put too much on there all right I'm not trying to mix the colors really I'm just trying to get some paint on here all right so I probably could have put more of that on there I think All right, it's kind of a pinky purple. That's okay. I don't really have any set um, color scheme that I want to do. All right, and then I think, um, I don't know, maybe a little blue would look cool. It's gonna turn green though a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. And I'm, like I said, I'm not trying to mix it. I'm just trying to get it on the plate. So, and this is where I usually I roll it off a little bit because I have too much on here, but that's okay. I'm going to go this way with it. Get a little paint, get it all over. And this one is really just a kind of a tester and, and to get my gel plate a little bit, um, get it a little bit wet. All right, there we go. All right, so that's all I'm going to do with that, and I'm not going to do anything else. And I've got two of them now, and normally I just would roll that off 
um, I'm just going to take one of the smaller ones that I did and I'm going to put it down. I don't care about the back because when we're done we're going to end up um, covering, we're just going to cover the back so it's not going to matter. So that's why you needed the, the uh, paper that has white on one side. All right, and then I'm going to try, let's try the big one. This is the bigger piece here of that same paper. And that's going to take up most of the paint off of here. And I'm doing it with this brayer just to kind of get it all down. And the point is, is you're trying to peel off the paint. Okay, so I just kind of go like that. can do the bigger one it doesn't matter and it's really fun to do this and you just never know what you're gonna get and the thing is if you don't like it just keep messing with it because usually sometimes those turn out to be the best okay let's try we'll try this one first you can kind of tell if it's gonna pull the paint off when you start to do it if you notice See, there's very little paint on there, and you see how it's sticking to that? And that's what you want. You want that. Um, I'm gonna think I'm gonna put this down a little bit more. You want that that kind of peeled paint look. See, like I think we could get more off right there. I didn't rub it with my fingers very good on this one. And you know, the more it dries on there, the more it's going to stick. But you do have to rub it to get all the paint to come off. And there we go. See, I got a big blank spot right there. Let's see if I can get that off. And if, I, if we don't, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Not at all. Okay. And this is the one we didn't put very much paint on. But it has a really cool look on it, doesn't it? Yep. All right, let's try this one. I want to make sure I try and get as much off of this as I can. And you can see that it is peeling off a lot of paint. We do have some right here. It's not coming off. That's okay. That's all right. It's not a big deal. We'll go back in and we'll do another... We'll take it in there another time. But if you see on that, isn't that cool for a background? I mean, you could cut that into a tag right there, and it's just, it's just, we did nothing really. This needs more work. Um, this side needs more work. Uh, let's see. So what you can do is save these, let them dry a little bit, and then we'll put them, we'll put them in there another time. And then add more paint to that. Okay, so we have paint on the edges here, but I don't care. I just leave it there because the next one will pick up some of that paint. Um, so let's try. Um, I'm going to try some of the silver. Okay. And it'll, what happens is this will wet, re-wet this stuff that we already put down. And I put too much on there, so I'm going to have to move it around. I did not want that much, but that's okay. It'll turn out okay. All right. And then, let's see what we'll do with that. We will go, we're going to take this blue... Oh, come on. Get out. I think I probably put too much of that, too. I'm going to use a little wire. Go over here. I know I'm putting too much onto this, for sure. That's all right, though. It's really hard to screw this up, guys. It really is. Um... Because even things that, even ones that you don't like, like I put way too much on here. And if I wanted to, I could just take this one that didn't have, let me move this paint over so it's out of the way. 
Um, the one thing you do have to have when you do this is places to put things to dry. I could just take that and go like that and add some blue to it, okay? Um, just to kind of, you know, add some extra color if I want that, like this one. Um, we had a couple spots here that we could just take some little extra paint and go over this and you would never know that you you've missed a few spots okay and that's how it works I don't know if you can tell if you can see the metallic paint in there but it you know it just it's a completely different look that you're gonna get just trying to paint something and I'm not, I haven't even done any kind of like you know anything fancy so <laughs> all right let me see I definitely want more than that and I put way too much paint on there so let's try um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of green and do that and this time I didn't put nearly as much paint so that's good all right and and all I do is I do this and make quite a few of these and um, you know then I figure out like see this would be good for like an ocean type thing I'm gonna go ahead I want that to dry a little bit more but let me put that down right there okay And then, now the problem is I have so much paint on here the next time I'm going to have to roll it off on something. Um, what I do a lot of times is I take, where did I put those? I had them somewhere. Oh, here they are. These are just extra little pieces of paper that I used that when I, let's say I, um, I printed something or I cut something and it didn't, I didn't use the whole thing. I'll just start rolling stuff on an extra scrap piece of paper and you never know that might turn out to be something really cool. In fact we can press it down on the next one and you'll see. Um, in fact we can take this one that we did and we can put that on top of here and just see how that turns out. Anyway, this is a way to use that paper up and um, just kind of do something, you know, somewhat artistic. Now you can make your papers to fit exactly this and then you won't have all this on the edge. And a lot of times I do, um, but a lot of times I don't. And I'll, I'll pick up the other edges and you'll see in a minute what I do with that. Okay, so let's pull this one off. Okay, so look, see that's the second time we pulled that through and look how cool that looks, right? I mean, I hope you can see that. You're not going to get that look just by painting it on there or bringing it on there. You've got to have a gel plate that, that does that and it kind of sticks to it and pulls it off and it gives it that texture and the reason I like to use the metallic is that it's just, it, it gives it a completely different look. Okay, so now we've done that. I'm going to pull that off. And it's pulling off a good portion of that paint, so that's good. And usually you have to do a couple passes to get it the way you like it. Okay, see that on there? It even pulled off some of the gold that was on there before, okay? Now this is going to need another pass of something to kind of, you know, add to it. But it has a lot of possibilities there. This other one I think is really done. I think that's cool. All right, so here's the one that we had off the side. And what I'm going to do with that is I am going to just take it and go ahead and pull paint off of here. And who knows what what will happen, but we shall see. It's going to pull all this extra paint off, or a lot of it anyway. And you'd be surprised how cool it'll look sometimes. 
All right. So, yeah. I mean, it turned out pretty good. And it will need another pass through there, but the point is, is that it will... And you got to watch because now I'm pulling paint off of this, so I don't want to do that. All right. And I leave all of this paint on there because each layer of paint will make it look even better. Okay, so this is just our extra piece I had off to the side. And I've already dipped that in a couple times and it looks, I think, looks pretty cool. Okay, I could definitely see that like in a mermaid type uh, journal, you know, cut that out and make a tag. And it's not even really done. So um, let's see here. Let's see what color we want to do. Now I want to do add some other colors that are a little brighter because we kind of keep doing the same palette here. So why don't we try just a little bit of the purple. It's still kind of oceany. We can try that. And I have no... And I just do a bunch of these. Um, I'll think about what I'm doing and maybe think about those colors. But then... I don't know, you know, I, I, I might not even use them on that journal because it may not turn out to be what I want, but I'll have a bunch of them ahead of time. And then I've used up all this old paper that I'm not, you know, normally using. Okay. I love this translucent paint doing this, though. It does turn out really cool. I'm going to try this really bright green. I want to see how that looks. So I haven't opened that one, so I need to open it. All right, so let's do a little bit of that. Oh, I'm not, I'm trying to use the, that for the extra. And I like the little blare if I'm not trying to, you know, smush everything around and I'm just trying to put color in different places. So I don't, I don't, you know, All right, get that off of there. And how about, I don't know. Should I put a little white in there? Maybe let's put a little white in there, see how that looks. I'll try some white. All right. I put that over there because I want I don't have very much paint on that. I want to make sure we have enough that we can pull off. All right. Now I'm going to do something a little bit different this time. I am going to take, where did it go? Here we go. I'm going to just take a block, a stamping block, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make an impression on this. Okay. And just do that in a couple places. All right. Can do that on here. And it's not going to make, you don't want it to make like a perfect impression. That's not what you're going for. And usually I take this, like let's say we have this one over here. I'll have to get it in frame so you can see it. Um, and I will maybe take that and go like that with it. Even though I think this one's probably not ready for that. But just do that, okay? I don't, there's not enough paint on there to do anything, but usually, yeah, I did a little bit. Um, what it'll do is it'll put some of that impression on there, and it kind of looks really kind of cool. I'll do it next time when we have more paint, and you'll see. But see how it puts a little bit of that impression on there? And that looks kind of cool, too. Um, all right, so let me go ahead and... Put some papers in there. Let's see what we got here. We have these six by six ones. And then we have some smaller ones. And you can do that. Let's do that. 
put that right there. And let's see if we get the smaller one. I thought I had a smaller, skinnier one. That's uh, well, it's good enough. It's good enough. It may not go all the way across, but that's okay. That's all right. You don't have to fill up the whole paper. There's no. All right, and then I'll use the smaller one over here. I never worry about doing the whole thing because I usually pick up that paint and the other parts that I miss. But as I said, you could cut your paper down to 8 by 10 and do the whole thing. I just never worry about that. All right. Oh yeah, that's cool. Okay. Can you see the little, the, um, the impression on there like that? I think that always turns out really cool. And I layer that on there. And when you do several layers, it turns out really neat. Hold on here. You probably see it more on this one. So y'all see that? And you could use this just like that. You don't have to add. It's, there's nothing wrong with having white space in there. Okay. And that all that did, all that stamp did is take this paint off. Okay. And I think that's a really cool look. In fact, I probably won't do anything else to that because I, I just like that look. Okay. Um, let me see how this one looks. Now I might here take some paint, make sure I get some on the edges there. Because then that way, I can use that whole edge. Um, see, I'm just picking up paint on the edges that I don't have paint. So that if I want to cut this up and use it, um, it all has paint on it. Okay. Alright, that's cool. I like that one. Um, let me do this. Okay, see that? That is just a cool look, I think. Really cool. I'm going to make sure I get some paint all the way around this edge. You could put this on, um, on something just to put it, like, um, just in the, um, you know, put something on it, like a uh, picture or something in the middle of it and use this for a background. There we go. There's more paint over there. There we go. All right. So um, we definitely can add more paint, you know, to that would be good. I think this other one um, turned out pretty cool. But check this out. Now, remember we did that and it has that. Um, design on there because we stamped it. So now when we put another color on there, it's gonna that design is gonna show up because this is in the back, and what's ever in the back is what shows up in the front. Now this one doesn't have much of a design, so that is not gonna do anything. This has a little bit of one, you know, but not much. Okay, let me go like that, and it's going to pick up the other paint. That's why I never, I'm not going to say never, I shouldn't say that. I rarely um, pull my, um, take all the paint off, unless I'm, if I, if I want to go with like a totally different color palette, I will, but um, I don't want to add purple. How about orange? Let's see how orange is going to look with that. Get some real contrast in there, right? Try that. Okay. I have no idea if any of this will look good, but it doesn't really matter because I'm having fun. And um, I'm going to try some of these other colors I have over here. Uh, I'm going to try some gold with that. Let me try a little bit of gold. 
little mix. They have a different consistency, so... Oh, I love this orange. That would be good, too. But I think I'm going to just try those two and then add a brighter color to it and see. Yeah, they have like a completely different consistency. So, you know, so I don't know. Which is fine. It doesn't really matter. I use uh, a lot of cheap craft paint all the time. That's what I use. Um, I don't definitely don't spend a lot of money doing this. So, all right, now I'm going to take a little bit of... I think of uh, this turquoise. You know what though? Hmm. I think what I want to do is I'm going to take this. This is a um, just a sun. I'll put that in there. I'll do that all over. And you really don't always see the design when you get done. In fact, I ne I just about never do. But you do have to have a bigger design, or you won't. It won't work because a smaller design just kind of gets lost. Like there's too much paint on here now. So let's see what I can do with that. What can I do with you? I could take it and put it on. See this one right here it has a lot of those same colors. Got to have room. That's the one thing. You really have to have enough room to put all this stuff around. So I'm going to move that over. Oh, I'm kind of messing it up. And I'm going to just take this and stamp on it the extra paint. Well, there really isn't any extra paint now because it's starting to dry. Yeah, it's starting to dry. But you can do that when you're doing that and then that way you have that that design will show up on here too all right let's see here ay 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 okay now i'm going to put this turquoise on let's see what it does all right just have to really remember how this is so much looser than the other paint I'm just going to take this all the way across. All right. And I'm going to take this and kind of go like that. I need this needs more paint. I don't want to put too much though. Well, I'm taking paint off now, so I don't want to do that. Okay. All right, so now we're going to just take a couple of these probably. I don't think I have another short one, do I? I don't know. I may have to... Oh, yeah, there's one down here. Nope, not really. Oh, yeah, there they are. Okay. So let's just do that. And then maybe we'll just do that. And we'll do that. And I'm going to go ahead and just cut this so that it's on there pretty good. Maybe we'll do, just do that. Okay. Okay, you can kind of see, if you look closely, you'll see the design in there. And it has all the um, different colors, but you'll see the design in the background. And that's what happens, is it kind of impress. And you still have the design down here, so the next layer that you put on, it's going to pull some of that design up. Okay, yeah, you can kind of see it. It's kind of cool. Really kind of cool. 
And like I said, I would add another layer. Whenever you have a lot of white, then you want to put it through again. And you just never know what you're going to get. You just really don't. Because... All right, let's see what this one's going to look like. Yeah. Yeah, there wasn't very much paint on there. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go ahead and pull paint off. And what the deal is, is that it never really like dries. Well, it does dry, but I mean, it stays wet for a really long time on a gel plate. And plus the way that it pulls off, that's what gives you this really cool design. So let me do that. Do that. And I'm just pulling the extra paint off just in different areas that are white. And we shall see how it turns out. This is paper you weren't going to use anyway. So it's not really, you know, and everyone probably has some different paints laying around that they don't use. And in fact, I, I did something not too long ago. I was going to use paint and half of them were dried up. I hadn't used them in so long. So got to use your stuff. Let me see. I think that would look good in the middle. So you end up with these really cool looking um, plates that you can later add things to. I usually end up um, using them as backgrounds on tags. That's mainly what I use them for. But Okay, so now I'm going to do, we have a few other ones in here that I want to run, like I'm going to put that one through again. Um, I really kind of can't decide on this one. I kind of like that background there, but hmm, I don't know. I don't know, guys. There's several here. I really love that one the way it is. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Let's see here. Um, I think this one looks pretty good, but I think it could use some more. And um, this one for sure. Okay, so why don't we just do a, a second pass on these, and then I'm going to show you some other ones that I did, and we will go ahead and make something with them. That has purple in it. So maybe I'll put some... Some purple down. I like the design showing on there, but I think um, I think we're gonna just kind of come up with a different a different um, color scheme here. Put some more. Well, I don't know if I want to put white in there. I have to remember when I do these, the consistency is really different. So. Let's try that. I am kind of mixing these. Uh, probably too much blue for sure. All right. And remember, it's going to pull the other paint off because I re wet it. So let's try. Let's try the silver here. We'll try that instead of white. Okay. Let's try that. All right. So, do I want to put more of a design? No, I think I'm going to leave it. Um, I'll wait to do that later. Um, which one do I want to do? Which one do I want to do? I might do... Here, let's try this. Let's try this. 
This is um, just a alphabet block. I'm going to put that on there. Move this over. So I have room to do what I need to do. Oop, it moved. That's not good, but that's okay. All right, so I'm going to take that and I'm going to stamp on here. Let's see if it works. If it's still wet enough. Okay, yeah, it did. So isn't that cool? That's a cool look, I think. Um, move that over here. And then I will do that again over here. Right? <laughs> okay. I am going to take this, move that over, and I don't think this will show because it's too blue. Let's take this one, and we will put that on there. We shall see. Yep, that turned out really good. So see that? So that's part of your background. And you can, you know, just add more and more layers to it. And every time you do, usually it, it makes it better. Rarely does it make it worse. And if it does, like I said, it's just paper you weren't gonna use anyway. Um, I'm gonna put this whole thing down because I think it'll look good. We shall see. Right, and then I need to find one over here that I want to add to. I had one. Uh, it was this one. I don't know if I, I like that one. I think I don't think I'm going to do anything. I think this one could use something, but I don't know if I want to add that color to it. Um, how about that one? We'll try that one. Right? So we're going to try those. Oh yeah, I like that. So it added some different color and moved it all around. Um, you really can't see the letters that well. You can see them a little bit, but I think it's really cool. Um, let me see how this one turned out. Because we didn't have a lot of paint on that one. Yeah, you can see them a little, but not, you know, not crazy amount. I am going to take the spots that don't have any paint, and I'm going to go ahead and add paint to it with the ends here. Okay, and that helps me out fill this in. Let's see here, right here. There we go. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Alright, I think that that one turned out pretty decent. I like I like all the different shading in that one. Alright, let's see here. Should we try one more? Oh, I don't know if we have the time. Okay, I leave this the way it is. I usually don't clean it. Um, that's because the next time it'll pull that paint off of there. It's up to you how you want to do it. And then... Um, I just kind of go back and look through them, um, and if I like the way that they look, I, you know, I don't do add anymore, and I, I like those too. I like that one because it has the design in there. 
this one certainly has plenty of color in it. Um, where did these two go? And I have these two here. Love both of those. And let's see what we have. We have this one. Okay. And we have these two. I love this one um, with the different letters on there with the orange. And then we have this one. So I know it doesn't look like that much now, but when you use these, um, they, they, they really add a lot of character to your journal. Um, you can take pieces of it, uh, you know, and you can definitely just dip them in more times and add more and more layers. And the more peeled paint it looks, the better I think it looks. Okay, I, I think it looks even better. I mean, I personally love doing this. It's relaxing. It's fun. Um, I'm not worried about a particular outcome. Um, as I said, you can definitely um, keep dipping it back in until you get what, exactly what you want. All right, but anyway, that's really all I had today um, as far as using your stash. You can um, take, you know, paper that you would not normally use, and then all I'm going to do is I will take these and I will cut them into tags, and I will back them with something, you know, and um, sew around them, and these will be used as um, bases for my, for my tags, okay? And like I said, see, that would be really pretty in an ocean journal. I'd probably pull those out and use it for that. Um, actually, there's several that are like that. I must be drawn to those colors. Um, but anyway, you know, that, you just don't ever know what you're going to end up with. Um, I love doing this. I really do. And it's, it's going to give you a stack of things that you will use rather than, you know, stacks of paper you're not using. See, and I love that peeled paint look on that. I don't know if you can really tell and see the shimmer, but it's really fun. Um, you know, you just have to imagine these kind of cut out with something on it. And, you know, here you can see the design in there. So here you can see the letters. You can kind of see the letters in there. I don't know if you can tell. This one, you can kind of see the design. So anyway, guys, that is what I do, and I have a blast doing it. Um, and this paper really probably was eventually going to go in the trash. So, all right, we shall see you next time. Um, I think we're going to have uh, Mass Make Mondays, and um, I may do something with these then. We, we'll see. We'll see what we do. Um, we just did a, a bunch of uh, stamping. Maybe I'll put some of the stuff on here and make a tag. Who knows? I have no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> Probably not going to know until Monday. Um, you guys have a great Sunday. Um, if you're watching the Super Bowl, enjoy. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Take care.